Yeah, he's fucking good and real good. Righto, what happened, Mick? Well, we just pulled up to come to this bait. Uh, we're just walking down the road and Joel seen some pigs moving, so he pushed me forward to get into them. And I drew back and walked forward and let them come out to me. And this fellow was leading the mob. And uh, I took him out at 25 straight through the lungs and he only went probably 30 metres. Um, we thought it was a sow so we went down and checked the bait, come back and turns out he's actually a pretty decent boar. So. Very nice boar. Look at them tasks. Jesus. Oh well, well done. Here's Mick with another ball. Tell us what happened, mate. Just stalking down this creek. Um, come off a, about a 40 minute stalk on a bull from Joel. And uh, he poked his head over this thing, over this bank. And he said, oh, I just checked there. And I took one step and looked, and there's this fella sleeping. So I ranged him 30 metres and popped him straight up through the back into his heart and lungs. And we ran about uh, 150 metres and we found him dead as puppy. So, yeah. That's a good pick, man. Well done. Sweet. Hello Joel, what's the story here mate? Um, come along this creek bed here and um, Bob was telling me this spot here was going to be good and just as I had a glance at about oh, six metres in front of me I noticed this big fella laying under a, a creek or inside of a creek bed. So um, I told him to, to hold up and get the video camera to Mick and um, planted him just through a quarter and on of that angle I've taken out like one lung that this big fella just did not want to drop so after thinking he was going to kill me put another one into him and just put a, a finishing one just to make sure and yeah he took a took a while to go down the big fella but we got him in the end anyway he's good set of hooks so he's a good pig mate yeah. well done Righto Mick, tell us what happened. So we just finished uh, getting Joel's boar tusks out and we come up the creek a bit, um, stalked in on this mob of cattle, seeing this big uh, fella right up the back. So we backed out, pulled around to the side of him 
and then I crawled on my belly about 75 metres through the grass and stood up, shot him at 35 through a, through a little window and he, I hit him pretty good through the shoulder. Yeah, it's a good shot, man. Bloody right there. Another hole on the other side. Perfect, man. Well done. That's awesome. All right. So, Joel, tell us what's happened, buddy. Um, just come down the creek. Just saw this pig here, just so I can lay him down. So, shot him through the back here, and um, he got up and come out of the creek towards me. So, just for a bit of a safety shot, I put another one in him, and pretty much died. Oh, I don't know, five meters from where he actually got up to start with. So, happy days. Well done, mate. Righto, we're uh, here at uh, Joel Beckingham's pig race. I've got a uh, big Rexy here, first one buttercup. All right, on your marks, first one until the creek wins. Three, two, one, go little fellas. Oh, Rexy's gone, he's gone. Buttercup. Ah, buttercup's looking to take it. Ah, Rexy wins, there you are. Rexy, Rexy. Actually, no, buttercup's in the creek first. He's in the bottom, buttercup's in the bottom first. Yeah, no, I don't know, man, I think I won. Go on, buttercup, see you later, pal. <laughs> well, you're trying to get out that little rock pool freak. There he goes, he's off. Hello, right, Joel. Tell us what happened, buddy. Um, <clears throat> walking along the creek bed back there and saw this sucker sleeping about oh, 15 yards in front of me. So, um, only had a shot with his ass facing me, so. As I was trying to walk around, he got up and went for a bit of a trot. And about 35 metres, he pulled up and um, kind of, kind of guessed it. It was a bit of a fluke, and shot him straight through the heart down here, and come straight out the other side. And he ended up in the the creek just here swimming. So happy days. Beautiful, mate. Well done. All right, Joe. What's the story here, mate? About 400 metres over there, we're cruising through the creek and um, this big fella's jumped up behind me and the guide Bob and um, he wasn't too phased so he just got behind some grass and I went for a quick 10 metre stalk and shot him quarter and on just through just on the point of the shoulder or just behind the shoulder this side. Now he's come out down the back here so I've taken a good chunk of the lung out and um, he went for a big big run so I watched him and um, noticed he was a bit bit cranky because he started kicking up a bit of bit of sand and all that and then he kept going so we followed this massive blood trail we've got about two three hundred meters kept going through this long ass grass and then um, sure enough after one sighting of him we end up Mick end up seeing him about oh five meters yeah five meters from him so I pulled the bow back and let's just say everyone was a little scared and um, I shot him, shot him broadside just to the back of the lungs here and he turned and just looked at me and chomped his teeth so I did my manliest voice and told Bob, uh, Bob to get his gun. <laughs> <laughs> Bob levelled him with what is it, 375? 375 Ruger. Yeah, 375 Ruger through the side here. The thing exploded and he still ran. Probably now about 30 metres. Yeah, up 30 metres up again hit by a cannon. And did a somersault just behind the camera there. And, bah, I've never been that frightened before. And what I meant to dig, only small tusk and got a little stumpy tail. And, fuck, that was exciting. <laughs> that is a cracker. Oh, shit. Well done.
going down. Mickey! Righto, Mick. Tell us what happened. Well, we're just on our way home from the creek, and um, I was in the back of the ute, and we pulled up, and the goal yells out, fucking pig, pig, pig. <laughs> And I look out and I'm like, oh shit, I don't even have my release aid on, so I'm fumbling around trying to put it on. Jumped out of the ute, ran, pretty much ran in through this cornflake and shit, and this, this boar just kept walking. And I put myself, put a termite mound in between me and him, and then moved a couple of metres, and then waited for his eyes to go through a log and moved a couple of other metres there. And then I felt the wind on my back and I knew he was gonna pick me up any second, so I just drew back, guesstimated about 40 metres shot, and uh, just got a clean pass through, straight to both his lungs and his heart, and he only, only made it about 20 metres, and he was down on the deck. And, uh, so yeah, did his day. All over in about five minutes, it was a good fun. What the size of that grinder just there? Wow. Well, let's get these tusks out and um, get home. Have some beers.